Welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about correlation analysis in the subject of data mining. So basically in this video, you'll understand what is correlation, what is correlation analysis, how do you find out correlation analysis, what is the output of correlation analysis, everything with an example I'll tell you, Carl Pearson's uh, correlation coefficient, everything I'll be telling you in this video. So let's get into the video and before that, if you're having your exam schedule nearby, just let me know the date of your exam in the comment section so that I'll try to make it by your exam date. So now let's get into the video. Correlation analysis is basically used to measure the relationship between two variables. You're having two variables. The relationship between those two variables you can measure by using the correlation analysis. That is, if one variable increases, what happens to the other variable? If one variable increases, then the other variable is also increasing, then it is called as positive correlation. If uh, one variable is decreasing, then other variable is also decreasing, then it is called as negative correlation. If both are same then it is called as zero so like that it depends okay so and how do you calculate the correlation coefficient everything i'll tell you so basically correlation analysis is used to measure the relationship between two variables and correlation coefficient uh, we say it as gamma or r actually we say it as gamma but how you remember is your wish so gamma of a comma b will be equal to sigma a minus a dash b minus b dash or b bar you can say by n minus 1 into sigma a sigma b so now what do you mean by the terms i'll tell you this gamma of a comma b is nothing but the carl, carl pearson's uh, coefficient carl pearson's correlation coefficient which is which will tell you the correlationship between A and B. A comma B indicates that it will give us a relationship between A and B. Okay. And here A bar and B bar means mean of A and B respectively. A bar is mean of A, B bar is mean of B. Next is sigma A, sigma B standard deviation. A Sigma A is standard deviation of A, sigma B is standard deviation of B. Okay. Next we have N here, right? N is nothing but number of tuples in the database. Okay. How many uh, tuples you have, how many rows you have in the database database that's all okay so now I'll tell you with an example you'll understand it before moving on to the example this gamma this correlation coefficient can have actually three variables it is 0 minus 1 and plus 1 okay if the value is equal to plus 1 then it is called as perfect positive correlation if the value is 0 then it is said to be no correlation that is no dependence between the two variables as I said in the previous uh, just now I said right if one is increasing then the other is also increasing then it is called as a positive correlation correlation if one is decreasing then the other is increasing if it is in the inverse proportion then it is called as a negative correlation here the correlation coefficient value will be minus one okay if the value is equal to zero it indicates that there is no correlation that is there is no dependence between the two variables here we have two variables a and b right so whatever happens to a's value it will not affect b whatever happens to b's value it will not affect a okay that is what called as no correlation that is independent okay so now uh, with an example let us calculate the correlation so here you get gamma of a comma b is equal to sigma a minus a dash we have written the same formula here also to avoid turning of pages so first what you have to find out you have to find out the unknown terms here what are the unknown terms we have we don't know a bar we don't know b bar we don't know sigma a we don't know sigma b as well and what is the value of n it is 3 1 2 3 3 rows we have right so n is equal to 3 and let us calculate a dash now a dash is nothing but a bar is nothing but mean of a right so how do you calculate the mean 20 plus 12 plus 9 by 3 sum of quantities by number of quantities right so if you do that you will get 13.66 for same b dash also you need to calculate 8 plus 34 plus 4 by 3 then you will get 15.33 got it next you have to calculate sigma a sigma a and sigma b are also unknown terms for us right we have first to let's do sigma a sigma a is equal to uh, square root of sigma a minus a dash whole square by n minus 1 the sigma is different this is different you know the meaning of the sigma right summation addi addition you will be doing so a minus a dash whole square by n minus 1 right so first what is the value of a for a we have 20 12 9 right so let us write that here 20 
12 9 are the values for a we have so 20 minus a dash value is 13.66 20 minus 13.66 whole square plus 12 minus 13.66 whole square plus 9 minus 13.66 whole square divided by n minus 1 n is what 3 we have 3 values right 3 doubles 3 rows we have so 3 minus 1 is 2 and when we do the calculation you will be getting the answer as 5.68 so sigma a is equal to 5.68 we got okay next sigma b also you have to calculate in the same way so what are the values we have for b we have 8 34 4 right so we have 8 34 4 plus 9 8 34 4 plus 9 8 so 8 minus and what is b dash that is nothing but uh, mean of b 15.33 right so 8 minus 15.33 whole square plus 34 minus 15.33 whole square plus 4 minus 15.33 whole square by 2 2 by because n minus 1 right the formula is you'll be getting the answer as 16.28 okay now what did we get we calculated a bar b bar sigma a sigma b that is we have calculated the means and we also calculated the standard deviations right now we can directly substitute all the values in the formula so you have to substitute all the values in the formula i'll tell you how this how you got this and what is the formula sigma a minus a bar b minus b bar by n minus 1 into sigma a sigma b right so denominator first i'll tell you n minus 1 is nothing but 3 minus 1 which is 2 so 2 into sigma a is nothing but we got the value of sigma a as 5.68 right 5.68 into sigma b value we got it as 16.28 16.28 in the denominator first a minus a dash into b minus b dash sigma to this complete term okay that is first a 20 minus a dash is 15.33 right 20 minus 15.33 into 8 minus b dash is 5.68 right so with that one term is completed for the next term that is for 12 also you should do the 12 minus 5 15.33 into 34 minus 6 uh, sorry 5.28 like that you have to do so you will be getting it as oh sorry 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 5 15.33 is for b dash right so a dash is 13.66 sorry so like that you have to substitute all the values then you will be getting it as minus 1 point something which is approximately equal to minus 1 which is nothing but you got negative correlation okay negative correlation in the sense what if one value is increasing the other value will decrease if other value is decreasing so inverse proportion will be there okay so this is how you do the correlation coefficient or this is how you find out the correlation and based on the correlation value you will be finding out the relationship between the two variables okay got it so this is very simple all you need to remember is the formula and you can take a calculator with you for the exam so you can um, uh, you know do it on your own and example also you need not remember for some problems you have to even remember the values in the example also otherwise you will not get it correctly for this you it is not required because uh, nothing logical right everything mathematical you will be substituting the values so you will be uh, able to do it easily got it this is about the correlation analysis got it thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure let's meet up soon the next coming video with another topics till then stay tuned to my channel for more and more videos